Father David Michael Moses, and we're here uh, on site at the 2022 Concert for Life. This is kind of surprisingly our ninth annual concert, that we've, ninth, ninth time that we've done this in support of Houston Pregnancy Help Centers. Well, this event does it raise a lot of money so that we can save a lot of babies, help a lot of mamas, allow life to continue. I just met a family that came from New York for the concert tonight. My kids are big fans of Father David Michael. I'm very excited and um, I wish to meet Father. We are very excited to contribute to this uh, cause. So it's, it's very a very, very important event. It's a great event, awesome time for all the families, great time for Catholics. Let's raise some money for pro-life causes. Sometimes I get up for a lot of times, especially in today's world, uh, abortion is something that is offered as, a, as an option, as an easy way to get out of a difficult situation. That Sylvia and the director of the Pregnancy Center and everybody who works there is trying to do is let the women know that they're not alone in this, that they have support, they have people they care about, that care about them and are offering them life-affirming options. And so we're really honored just to be a part of that. such an incredible event and getting to be here and be with so many people who are supporting life, who are supporting mothers and getting to also remember just what life is all about and it's really just spreading God's love. Meetings and email, confessions and math. I'm super excited to be here. I, my first time was last year and it was a great event and so I'm really looking forward to this event and we actually have a special guest, Father Stan Fortuna from the CFRs. It looks like it's gonna be amazing. It looks gonna be even more than last year. So every year the band is a little bit different, so always the show is a little bit different. Um, this year we have a couple of new guys playing, which always brings kind of a new vibe, a new twist to the whole thing. But this venue uh, actually has some video screens. So we've got a couple of videos planned um, to kind of uh, add some, some dynamism to the whole show. It's a new venue, but that's always uh, means new, new opportunities and to do something, uh, something different, and the Lord's always doing something new. So we're all about letting him work through us. I turn to leave. Get down on my knees, and it ends just like it started. Just my God and me. And so now, for for nine years now, we've gotten together with with the band. It's all priests and seminarians this year. We've got five priests and a seminarian. All of them are absolutely awesome musicians. One of the things that this concert has continued to teach me is, uh, as I'm entering into my second year of priesthood is that God wants to use all of who we are as priests, um, including all of our talents and hobbies. I've learned a lot about myself and to be able to offer myself uh, musically in this area um, as a priest. In seminary, I always thought how cool it would be to play with a band of priests because before I entered seminary, I played in like a heavy metal punk band and I loved it. And so this is a dream come true for me musically and to meet brother priests and all that. Just honored and uh, it's a privilege to be here playing with great musicians. You know, it's pretty surreal to be playing in something like this, never played in front of so many people. So. We got Father Stan Fortuna on the job. Very happy to be here in Houston for this pro-life concert event. I was free and I wanted to come and I said, look, I play bass and I can play a little drums. So I'm here helping out. But the event for the cause of life, most particularly during these times is a very good thing, very, very necessary thing. When I've lived my life and I meet St. Pete, I'm also looking forward to those who might be, haven't heard the gospel of Jesus Christ being proclaimed tonight. Wherever you are in your life, Jesus Christ and only his love can heal you, can bring you, can bring you uh, to wholeness and that, that, that through him and with him, uh, you can find the love of God in your heart. Father David Michael was kind of ahead of the curve, I think, on raising money for such a great cause, and here they are with so much momentum in such an awesome year. Jesus, 